Okay, so today I am talking about this Sansi, Sansi, I don't know, grow light with COC technology. This, this is a pretty cool grow light. Wow, wow, this is crazy. This is a really strong light. The secondary optical design, according to the supplementary lighting requirements through different growth phases, self-built mathematical calculation models and systems through the lens for secondary scientific light distribution, improved light utilization, give plants more supplementary light and improved light quality 5024 lumens which is a ton of lumens the other thing that's cool about this is the articulation on that this is absolutely what i'm excited about okay rocket we're putting the light in here's the light that i currently have in here also by the same company this light is indeed <laughs> Not as bright as this one. Oh no! Okay, here's a problem. <laughs> oh jeez. How am I gonna do that? That is not... It just doesn't... <laughs> that part and that part are so close, but not close enough. I, I wonder if there's extenders. I bet there's an extender that I can use. All right, so this, look at that. This is great. Generally, you want grow lights to be close <laughs> to what they're going to be used to grow. And this is, in this room, this light means it's definitely not close. But I'm using this light as some supplemental because there's already, this is already, there's already a lot of light in this room. So in the winter time, I'm using this as supplemental light. You can see this doesn't quite reach to the socket. There's a, it's a few inches off. So I went and I got this. It's a 3.25 inch, somewhere around there, um, light socket extension. So now I've extended that and I'm able to put this in here and you can see it's just enough that it's missing what this original light is this is actually supposed to clamp in a frosted glass but I'm not using that because I'm using a grow light so then now this is great it's going straight down but now I can move this up so it's going to hit this uh, orchid. And by moving these lights up, not only is it hitting the other plants in this room better, but it's also making it so that it's not such a harsh light straight down. So it's able to bounce off of these walls. It's making it feel more ambient in this room. It's diffusing a lot of that light. So it actually feels softer while it's able to hit these other plants in the room better. So you can see now this is able to really hit that. This one is able to be really pointed right there. So that's great. I'm able to really get this light to be directed right at the plants I want it to be directed at. All right, and so, so this here is at night, and you can see how, how much light this gives out. And then here it is from the outside. 
I mean, it is a beacon <laughs> comparatively to the other <laughs> other units in the building. All right, so I installed that light on January 19th of 2021. I've used it for just about almost exactly a year now. I wanted to do a full review and it's truly awesome. Like I love this light. It's, I'm able to grow a lot of, a lot of plants over here. And, um, and like currently I'm growing a variegated monster at elbow, a burl marks. I'm growing variegated burl marks. There's a lot of plants that I am now growing and are able to sustain like plants that are really like really want a lot of light, um, like the citronella, like it's awesome. I don't always switch this on at night. Again, it's pretty bright, but it's, it's really great. I, I really love this light. Um, so I have this truly, truly really cool light. You should get, you should get this light, get the, get that light. Cause it's great. I really love that light. <laughs>